Jacob here uh, says, Hi, my name's Jacob. I'm from Hamburg, Germany. I just found your show in Miro, and I like it. Thanks, Jacob. It's great to have you here. Almost one year ago, I finally switched from Windows XP to Ubuntu Hardy. One of the first things that I tried was Compiz, and it really rocked the boat. But the downside of it is that I did not manage to enable hardware acceleration for video until I turned off Compiz. As far as I know, the only way to get hardware acceleration by the GPU is to use proprietary ATI drivers. So it sounds like he's using an ATI card here. Uh, says that he's got a Radeon 9600 mobile. So that's unfortunate because that means we can't really switch it out, can we? Because he goes on to ask, here's my second question, he says, which GPU is the best for Ubuntu? I want a GPU accelerated video and all of the fancy desktop effects like comp is at the same time. It should have enough power to play games, so there's only NVIDIA left. Is there a way, is that the way to go, or are the drivers even worse? Uh, greetings from Hamburg, Germany. Jacob, I'm going to I'm gonna say, of course, with your ATI mobility, of, unfortunately, you're kind of locked into that card on that lap, laptop, right? So the best that I can suggest is that you do install the proprietary drivers. Um, I don't have a lot of experience, to be honest with you, with ATI cards, and that's because I stopped using them a long time ago. The Radeon 9600 was a, a fairly old card, so I don't think you're going to be able to get super performance out of that. I know back in the early days of Compiz and Barrel and things, we had to install Barrel extensions to, or uh, X XGL extensions to be able to use uh, some of the compositing of that video card. Uh, but these days, usually we can get away with proprietary drivers, which are usually provided by the hardware manufacturer, which may not be available for your card through ATI. I'm not too sure. Uh, if there's somebody in the chat room who can help Jacob a little bit better, um, I'm going to kind of just keep an eye. But definitely when you ask what's, what's the best way to go with Ubuntu, I always look back years ago when it came to um, you know, the battle between ATI and NVIDIA. Who was doing what? And ATI was really putting their focus on the Windows end of things with DirectX, whereas NVIDIA, while still doing DirectX, was really keeping a focus on creating a really good OpenGL compatible video card. Now with Windows, of course, you're using DirectX for all of your 3D rendering and things like that. Whereas with Ubuntu or with Linux, you're generally speaking using OpenGL. So you look at the cards and while um, John Robert is mentioning that ATI is sorting out some of their Linux problems, while that is true, because NVIDIA has kept a focus on both operating systems and performing well under both, I would have to say, and from my experience, that NVIDIA are the better cards for Linux. When it comes to Windows-based, I think that you can find excellent cards under both brands, but in my experience using uh, an NVIDIA card under Ubuntu or under Linux, I've had much less uh, problems setting that up than I have ever with uh, an ATI card under Linux. And certainly when you read the forums and stuff, you're probably going to find the same, that people get pretty frustrated with their ATI cards, even to the point of switching completely to NVIDIA. And when I made that switch, it was almost as, as amazing as when I first switched from Windows XP to Linux. When I switched from ATI, I, I had a cheap ATI card, and I was going to buy a new video card, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna, I really want to be on Linux, so I'm going to try an NVIDIA card. And I think I started with like a, an NVIDIA GE4 7000 or something low like that. And that was so much more superior than what I was using with my ATI card and wasn't a whole lot more expensive. So, so I'd recommend you try an NVIDIA card if you've got a, uh, uh, the ability to do that. I know in your laptop that's not an option, but in your, in your desktop that will definitely be an option. Start no lower than a, let's say, a, I always say like keep it above X600. Probably the best way to do it. NVIDIA kind of brands their, at least their GeForce cards, as the first number is the kind of the line of the card, so 7,000, 8,000, 9,000. Pardon me, where the f last three numbers is kind of the grade of the card within that line. So a 7,600 uh, is like a 600 grade of the 7,000 line. So if you get into a 7,950, it's going to perform better probably than an 8600. So the 8600 is actually a lesser card because it's only a 600 in the 8000 line. So keep that in mind. Don't go any lower than 600 because that's going to affect your performance when it comes to OpenGL and 3D, your comp is effects and things like that. And, uh, you know, 7950, 8600, 8800, 9600, things like that are going to do fairly well for you. Just looking at my screen here, just so that 
viewers who don't know what Compiz is. This is Ubuntu Linux Intrepid running with Compiz Fusion. I've activated my uh, desktop cube and desktop cube uh, deformations to make it into a cylinder. Gives me uh, special abilities to have a little bit more uh, effects to my operating system. Things like zooming in and flaming out stuff like that, is all part of the Ubuntu experience when you have Compiz Fusion working with your graphics card, things like Expo, and being able to bring in your windows like this. So all these things are possible if you've got a working Compiz Fusion environment, not necessarily able to do that with an older graphics card. So. Uh, John Robert is saying something about an NVIDIA GE Force 8300 GS, and again, uh, now... Say, oh, just saying that that's a terrible card. And y yeah, you can see from what I was explaining there, 8300 is so low of a grade of an 8000 series card that it's basically, I would say, garbage. Um, maybe okay if you're just doing straight Windows office work, but as far as if you want to do any kind of 3D at all, you need to have something that's going to be at least X600. So if you were going to go with the 8000 line, 8600. Okay?